Hello, welcome to episode one of Doctor Who and the Daily Fail Historian. Let's have a look at Simon's claims from earlier on today <laughs> on his video using the ONS and an article about Doctor Who. I'm going to read out two of them and then we'll have a look at them in further detail. Hello, again, before going any further, I would like to remind viewers of one or two facts according, that is, to the 2021 census. The first is that black people make up just 4% of the population of the United Kingdom. In other words, 96% of the people in this country are not black. We'll come back to that in a moment. There's some special problems with this one, and it will show how Simon is not looking at data properly and his methodology is flawed. And here's the second claim. Does anybody watching this video think for a moment, single moment, that the BBC ever considered making a series about, say, five Pakistani Muslims or five Jews or five Irish people or five gypsies? And we know that it wouldn't do such a thing. I'm not quite sure why it has to be five people just because that show Borders has five people. But we'll come back to that as well. In any case, let me share some information as we go on. Firstly, news release, Scotland's census to be moved to March 2022. Scotland's next census is to be moved to March 2022 because due to the impact of COVID it was announced today. Are you beginning to see the problems here? Scotland's census information was not included in the 2021 results as a result of that. Now, had Simon bothered to actually look closely at the sort of information that's in the ONS information, he would have noticed that. It says ethnic groups, England and Wales census 2021. Scotland seems to have, well, to go all cockney, it's done a Burton. It's gone for a walk. It's gone for a stroll up the road. It's gone to the rubber dub. You'll soon see why. If you do a, an all and F and look for Scotland within the text, Number it, um, part nine notes the census in Northern Ireland was also conducted on the 21st of March 2021, whereas Scotland's census was moved to 20th of March 2022. All UK census officers are working closely together to understand how this difference in reference dates will impact. UK wide population and housing statistics in terms of both timing and scope. So, the, firstly, it's pointless to try and make claims of a document that doesn't support your claims because you plainly didn't read it. You plainly simply didn't read this, Simon, and you assume nobody else would. If you did read it, then you have misle misled people by trying to present it in that way. It's one or the other, basically. Secondly, the claim that no programmes have been produced about Irish people by the BBC recently. Well, there's this funny show called Peaky Blinders that ran for about a decade with this bloke called Killer Murphy as the, um, in the lead as Tommy Shelby. And it had a shed load of Irish actors, Natasha O'Keefe, Okay, Natasha, second generation Irish, but I'll count her as Irish for the sake of it. Paddy Considine, Adrian Brody, and loads of other people. And quite a lot of the show's initial season, at least, revolved around events connected to the Irish War of Independence. And it was a very popular show. And people will remember, Tommy is a traveller with quite a lot of Irish roots and family in Ireland. Funny that, and it only ended a year and a bit ago. Oh, yes, it also has this side character, Alfie Solomons. Mr. Solomons' surname should give you a good clue as to exactly of Mr. Solomons' ethnicity. Alfie was also a breakout character from the show who was hugely popular, and people found him a great laugh and a giggle and wanted more and more of him on the screen. Oh, dear. And here's a show currently staring on the BBC, OK, this is made by RTE, the Irish State Broadcaster, but it's been shown on the BBC. And look, all those people on the cover of that, of that. My gosh, they, no naughty black people on there. Let's have a look at the cast members. 
Charlie Cox, Claire Dunn, Aidan Gillen, Emma J. Scanlon. Let's use the um, old tool in Wikipedia to see if it will bring up faces. My gosh, Claire Dunn looks totally Caribbean, doesn't she? Aidan Gillen, good Lord. Man's from Martinique. Emma J. Scanlon, boys from Barbados there. Maria Doyle Kennedy, yep. Another one, totally from Granada or something. It's not till we hit Yasmin Seku who you'll have to go and look up that you'll find someone who's actually with an ethnic minority in that show. And in fact, I'll look up Yasmin for you. And Yasmin herself actually grew up in Ireland, so I have no problem with her. It's a sight more Irish than Simon Webb will ever be anyway. Here's Yasmin, who plays Nikita Murphy. Funny this, what Simon also didn't tell you is Borders, with the show he was going on about with these five uh, ever so naughty black kiddies, as Simon will no doubt have it, features these kids because they have a scholarship which is set in a, well, it's a fictional school as far as I know, but it's modelled loosely on Eton, and the overwhelming number of people on the screen, therefore, be white, and it's playing off class and cultural conflict. It's funny how this, these kind of contexts always go. They also join the information about Scotland down the pub for a, they go down the rubber dub for a quick, you know, a glass of Guinness or something. Um, but of course, the Daily Fail historian training scheme. It, is of such high calibre and such high skills that no one could possibly match up to it. Also, Doctor Who, Simon. Just a point about the Doctor. The Doctor isn't human. He's, he might like to appear to be British, but that's just because the show started in Britain and it's wildly popular in Britain. He's made it plain he just has a particular affection for Britain in the show. But he's ultimately a bloke who's... Variously 900, 1,000 or a gazillion years old, whichever the screen grip writers feel like that year. He's a time lord. <laughs> he can be anything they want to be. And there were black time lords back in the classic series wondering about that screen. And time lords of various ethnicities. So this is really thin stuff. Apart from which, just to end this, You've used an article for on Doctor Who TV from May the 30th, 2016. It's getting on for eight years old, Simon. It's There's been two doctors since then. It's not exactly current. It's, this, is, this is pure comedy It's at this point. Is this some sort of special training scheme that the Daily Fail Historical Society run to sort of move information around and manipulate data. Yeah. Because it's absolutely fascinating how it's done. Absolutely fascinating how the methodology that's used. 